Now we're going to show you how to use the presentation function within iThought. We get a lot of feedback from the Bigger Play community and from people that we've spoken to that suggests that presenting with a mind map just because it's a bit unusual and it's a bit more visual can make a real impact and it's just such a nice change from PowerPoint. You know, a lot of us have heard this term, death by PowerPoint. So we'd really recommend experimenting with presenting with a mind map just because it might give you an edge and might make you, might make you stand out from the crowd a bit more. And also it's so simple to do and can be so slick and easy that why wouldn't you? So let's just quickly have a run through it. So in order to create a presentation in iThought, you come up here to, under, uh, unsurprisingly, where it says present. And you'll see the only option it gives you at the moment is slide list. So we're going to open up the slide side, the uh, presentation sidebar, if you like. And if we come down here, there's a little plus symbol. And what that will basically do is create a new slide. And it'll build a slide based on what you are currently looking at, so what you've got highlighted in your map. So if I wanted to create a slide, my first slide might be of the whole map like this. So I select this central topic and if I say click this plus symbol here, you'll see it's added a slide. So this is one of my slides if you like, which has the entire map. Maybe next to my presentation I'd want to go to Monday. So I say plus again. Maybe after I've focused on Monday it'll open out to the rest of it. So I say Plus once more, and you can see it's giving you a little preview of what will kind of be what will be happening, what will be the focal point of that slide. Maybe after that, I want to focus on Thursday, but with everything already opened. So I simply click on Thursday, press this plus symbol again. Now, if we just give you a little quick demonstration, so you can see what that's going to do. If we now say present slides. And just be warned that if you've just added a slide at the end, if you then say present slides, it'll already be at the end of your presentation. So you need to go back to the start just by pressing the left arrow key. And then equally, if I want to click through my presentation, so this is my first slide showing you the whole map. If I then uh, press the right arrow key, it'll focus on Monday. If I press it again, it'll just open out the rest of the topics. And then if you remember, we said after this that we want it, we want it to open out Thursday and focus on that. So if I press the right arrow key again, there is Thursday. Now to get out of presentation mode, you simply come to the top of your screen here. The menu will reappear. And you say present. Just select present slides once more. And it'll take you back into normal iThoughts mode. So now that you hopefully have seen how you can create slides and create presentations and how they display in iThoughts, let's just quickly look at some of the finer details of how you might want to edit it. So if we open up, if we go to the top here to present, and go to slide list once again. You'll see here you have all of your slides and you can then start to do things like move around simply by clicking and dragging. So maybe we want our Thursday part of our presentation, we want Thursday to feature a bit earlier. So we simply drag it up. So it is now the second slide down as you can see. And it's giving you a little preview of what it's going to do each time. If you wanted to delete any of these slides, you simply click on the slide you want to delete and you can either right click and delete or you can come down here to this minus symbol and that will get rid of it. If you want to delete a whole lot, you can say Command A to select everything, and you can press the delete button down here, or you can drag to select them, or you can use the click and shift. So you can say hold down shift and click to select multiple things, and equally you can use Command to specify the ones you want to delete. So hold down Command and click. So hopefully this has just given you a very quick introduction to how you can quickly create presentations during, during, uh, using iThoughts. Like I said, I'd really recommend giving it a try. It just is such a nice change when someone presents in a slightly more visual format like this. And any time we've ever presented using mind maps, we've always had comments saying what an interesting uh, approach it was and how striking it was. So give it a try. Don't be intimidated. See what you can make of it.